welcome people so we are looking at the pathology of central nervous system so in central nervous system pathology we have covered what and all so far we have covered the developmental anomalies hydrocephalus we have covered infections of central nervous system just the headings cerebrovascular diseases what and all are the types that one we have seen types of the demyelinating diseases types of degenerative diseases metabolic diseases nutritional disorders etc we just looked at the headings don't worry we have not gone into the details now tumors of central nervous system now we will just look at the names no we are not going into details as of now okay now central nervous system tumors they have divided into 10 okay they have classified into 10 groups now like as though it's not enough na 10 groups so look five here and five here first look at this one tumors of neuroglia that's called as glioma this has been asked in the exam guys so you should know this then you have tumors of neuron tumors of the neuron what was this neuroglia tumors of neuron tumors of neuron and neuroglia that is going to be a ganglioglioma wow poorly differentiated and embryonal tumors you have like medulloblastoma then you have tumors of the meninges meningioma the nerve sheath tumors like schwannoma other primary intraparenchymal tumors like primary cns lymphoma miscellaneous tumors malignant melanoma we have seen this one in skin right malignant melanoma then you have tumor like lesions why did they put that here then you have metastatic tumors okay so they have given 10 groups here see if you can uh, just remember few tumors of neuroglia that is glioma what is neuroglia they are the cells supporting the neurons correct then you have the tumors of neurons tumors of neurons and neuroglia embryonal tumors like medulloblastoma tumors of meninges meningioma nerve sheath tumors like schwannoma other uh, intraparenchymal tumors <coughs> like cns lymphoma primary cns lymphoma miscellaneous tumors they have said malign malignant melanoma we have seen this in the skin skin tumors we have seen this one pineal cell tumors pituitary tumors tumor like lesions cysts dermoid cyst epidermal cyst colloid cyst then metastatic tumors and difficult to remember everything let's just see uh, some important ones for the exam they are marked in green gliomas okay they are arising from neuroglia they are the most common actually okay of primary uh, cns tumors so in that you have astrocytoma okay so astrocytoma you can have uh, grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 grade 4 low well differentiated anaplastic then glioblastoma multiforme actually that has been asked in the exam glioblastoma multiforme has been asked in the exam so this astrocytoma you should know guys hold on so remember glioblastoma multiform they have asked in the exam you should know that this is a grade 4 astrocytoma at least that much if you know that will be great grade 4 astrocytoma okay then you have oligodendroglioma this is an uncommon glioma of oligodendroglial origin okay this is of oligodendroglial origin and may develop in isolation or may be mixed with other glial cells then you have the ependymoma ependymoma okay in ependymoma basically what will happen it is this ependymoma is derived from the layer of the epithelium that lines the ventricles and the central canal of the spinal cord so there is a layer of epithelium that len- lines the central canal of the spinal cord and these ventricles right that layer of epithelium from that this is derived that is ependymoma it has two variants mixopapillary type and sub ependymoma okay then uh, what else you can learn tumors of neurons you have neuroblastoma ganglio neuroblastoma ganglio neuroma tumors of both neuron neurons and neuroglia ganglio glioma not difficult right nice name that is ganglio glioma now coming to this one guys poorly differentiated and embryonal tumors 
in this you should know medulloblastoma medulloblastoma has been asked in the exam it's a very common primitive neuroectodermal tumor it occurs in children okay the most common location for medulloblastoma is cerebellum look at this diagram it will help you at least focus and understand one word today in this video medulloblastoma children cerebellum okay right then you have something called as neuroblastoma pnet what is pnet that is also same thing primitive neuroectodermal tumor only it is then we will move to tumors of meninges hold on in that you have meningioma meningioma they arise from the capsule layer of the arachnoid the most common site are in the front half of the head front half of the head meningioma okay so you can know the exact places if you want then what else you can learn in this video this primary cns lymphoma the incidences are rising in patients of aids and immunosuppressed people the cns lymphoma is increasing the nerve shell uh, nerve sheath tumors schwannoma is also called as neurilemoma this has been asked in the exam schwannoma neurilemoma nerve sheath tumor okay so this much if you know uh that should be enough metastatic tumors there could be metastatic tumors usually 25% of intracranial tumors will be metastatic so let's wind up this video on the tumors of central nervous system we looked at gliomas astrocytoma glioblastoma multiform then we saw medulloblastoma affects uh, children especially the cerebellum then we have meningioma schwannoma neurilemoma that's it okay what are important for exam we have told you again we will go into the details of each of these for now you have learnt the names of the tumors of cns okay so we will see you in the next video bye bye